All right, in this video, I'm going to very briefly talk about both Visual Basic and uh, Visual Studio. Um, this video is going to briefly cover topics within F1.3 and F1.4. However, I encourage you to actually go through the textbook and look at those a little more uh, closely. All right, so Visual Basic um, is an object-oriented programming language, and we talked about what all of that means in the previous video, but it has a lot of really nice tools to allow programmers to easily create applications. Specifically, it has a lot of useful tools to help programmers make programs that have a GUI. So you can easily create applications and give them buttons that the uh, user can interact with and text fields that the user can type stuff into and pass information back to you, all of that kind of stuff. Um, let's take a look at a couple of examples. All right, so here we have a couple of applications um, that were created in Visual Basic. Uh, one of these is an application uh, for Einstein's famous equation. It's asking what equation am I famous for? You can click the show equation button to actually show that it is E equals MC squared. So that's that piece of interaction right there. I can click hide to hide it again. If I keep on clicking hide, nothing new happens. If I hit show and then keep on clicking show, nothing new happens. So I can do that all I want and I can exit the application and that closes it completely. The other one is a monthly payment calculator. Given a certain amount of money that you have borrowed, let's say, or a product that you are, um, you know, you've gotten a product worth a certain amount and you've agreed to pay it over time with interest, um, how much money will you have to pay every year in order to, uh, you know, completely pay it off over a certain amount of time? So if I borrowed uh, $2,000 at let's say, yeah, why not 3% interest, right? Uh, and I'm trying to pay that off over five years. So that interest is going to come in every month, uh, increasing the price that I have to pay every month um, in order to actually fully pay off not just the 2000 but also all the interest that has accumulated over the five years that I paid. I said monthly interest, it might be um, yearly interest. That's my mistake. But every month in order to pay off 2000 with 3% interest, I would have to give a payment of $35.94 in order to pay it off over a five-year contract. However, if it was two years, it would be $85.96. I can change this as well if I go to a 1.5% interest rate over five years. Now it's a 3462 monthly payment. So you see all these places where I can interact with the application. I can type in a certain value. I can uh, select a certain interest amount and I can use these buttons to select the terms. And notice that you know if I select three years, it deselects four years. And if I select five years, it deselects three years, right? Only one of these options can be chosen at a time. And of course the calculate button and the exit button. So this is the type of stuff that you are able to create using Visual Basic. All right, now Visual Studio is an IDE, we talked about that last video, a uh, integrated development environment that can support many programming languages, not just Visual Basic, but you can also get into things like C++, C Sharp, F Sharp, all that kind of fun stuff. We're not worried about all that we configured uh, Visual Studio for Visual Basic uh, in the installation instructions that you would have followed back in week one. Uh, you just selected um, uh, the Visual Basic related packages and it installed all of those tools. And if you ever wanted to program in another programming language, you could install more things in order to expand Visual Studio's uh, capabilities. But we just have it configured for Visual Basic. Um, we're also not worrying about the uh, internet related stuff either. You might have seen uh, some Visual Basic uh, internet related stuff in the installer 
when you um yeah when you're installing the uh, visual studio program itself but we're not worried about all that we're just looking at basic well visual basic so that's what we have it configured for that is what it is able to do now i'm not going to cover this but in the textbook i highly recommend you go through uh f 1.4 and actually um look at all the contents they have there i think they're going to it's going to be a lot better if you look through it there because that has a whole lot of information about Visual Basic all in one place and putting it in the video would actually, I, I imagine would get in the way since you would have to scrub through, through the video to try to find exactly what I'm talking about there. But they uh, kind of give you a tour of Visual Basic and talk about all the different windows that you have available for you. So. Uh, not a tour of Visual Basic, my apologies, a tour of Visual Studio. So I highly recommend that you take the time to go through F1.4. So that's just a very brief uh, talk about Visual Basic and Visual Studio, um, specifically Visual Studio Community 2022. Um, these are tools that we will be using and I want to make sure that uh, we know what those tools are Visual Basic being an object oriented programming language with the capability of making applications really easy, easily, and Visual Studio being an IDE that can actually uh, give you tools to work in Visual Basic. So, yeah, thank you for watching.